Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. And today I want to fill up some more of our topical journal, Salvation slash Eternal Life. And so I have a bunch of uh, verses written out already on cards. So I just want to maybe think of some different ways to put them in. Um, I was thinking for one of them, I'd like to do like a flip, maybe this one. And I'll just put this aside for now. And then I left a little bit of room, not terribly much. bit more room on this side so maybe do almost half an inch not quite three-eighths something like that and then see if it has room in here Gonna be too well, too wide for the page, but not too wide for the journal. So it would just stick out some. done it on that side that would be more pleasing to the eye but I didn't so I might have to think of something else I don't really want to do it that way because then they'd have to turn. Although, that's actually not bad. Let me just ink this a little from this side. Something like that. And then I could put it on a page where I already have something. Like over here. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. And the verses are, uh-oh, I forgot to write down. I'm pretty sure it's in John. Yeah. John 3.16 is in here, so it's surrounding that verse. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So I'm just going to guess that that's 15 through 17. Because that sounds about right. 
and it's glue time. It is super early here in the morning as I am filming, so I'm hoping I am awake enough to do a good job today. Try and get that some somewhat straight. And then we can still put something underneath there. Since that paper clip is there, we could just add another verse. Maybe something with some green on it. Something like that. I drew some pictures on some watercolor paper I had decorated earlier. This is John 10, verse 28. I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. How comforting is that? No one will snatch, no one will be snatched out of his hand. So get into his hand. All right, so I did get some inspiration from some ladies on YouTube yesterday. And one of the things I wanted to try today is something I saw Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda do. <laughs> and that was, she folded, She folded a doily. This is a six inch. I would imagine it has to be a little bit on the larger side for this to work. Except the way she folded it, it wasn't quite half there, but it was half this way. And if you watch her at all, you know she likes to use her scissors to cut on folds so they don't show up. And then she has two halves. And then what she did was she put something inside. And it has to be a little bit of a specific size. going to start with this one. Maybe that's even a bit large. Something like that. Now, the thing she used, she didn't intend for it to come out. But I do want the verses to come out. So, let's see. Maybe a, a card or something. I have some of these labels I made. I think they would work. Since not all of it's gonna show, I could pick one that's not my favorite. Actually, I don't mind any of them. All right, we'll just start from the top here. So what she did is she put something like that in and that's actually not showing up very much either. Oh, what are we going to do now? How about this one? Oh, I said I didn't want to burst. Because I want it to be able to get stuck down in there. Okay, so those are actually no good. So we need something this size. I want something that will show up a little bit more on top. Sorry guys, it's one of those things where I know. 
she also did this at one point. So she put it on the outside. And I'm just going to get my handy dandy glue ready here. Because I found some ribbon that I wanted to use up. It's got this. It's not my favorite. But I was thinking it would go nicely with some of this. So I'm going to put this down first. And that can just be regular glue. Now she did back her project with some really pretty paper. And so I always have to come back to my my pretty paper, which is this faux rice paper. So what she did was she kind of put it in the corner of a corner and then she roughly cut that out and yes I'm totally copying except putting my own spin on it so then she would tear this edge just to give it a bit more interest her stapler. I don't really like a stapler. I just figure it, um, you know, you want it to stick. I, d I guess because when I've been at work and they've used, and they've overused staples and I, I get, I hurt myself on staples. So I tend to stay away from them if I can. All right. So what I was thinking was if I put down some glue I'll just start with a little bit because I want to scrunch it up I was thinking some lace might be nice too I think this is one of those projects that um, works out better when you make a few and then see how you like it because I noticed hers got better as she went along so something like that Let's see how see how far you want the lace to protrude and then kind of cut it off there at the end okay so that it's actually pretty in itself um let's see what else else could we do? A button might be nice. Something kind of to tie it in. If I can find... Hmm, I know. I made these um, little glue dots the other day. Maybe not the gold one.
could be a seal. I haven't colored those yet. What else? I got these blue ones. I have some blue glue dots. I have some bling, but since it's all, since there's already a lot of bling in the ribbon, I thought maybe not this time. So I think I'm going to do that. Since these are made out of glue, thing I don't like about glue guns is the string but that's what you get right all right so that I'm happy with that I mean you could take it further but I think I'm gonna say that's good we have other things we want to do as well so then I just need a page for that I think that actually might work really well over here yeah I like that I think I'm gonna ink the edge a bit more of this though So then what um, the idea was, this works out as a nice tuck. Another advantage of glue guns is they stick instantly so then you can get to putting things in that you want. Alright, so I'm just going to grab some of these verses. John 6 verse 40 For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who beholds the Son and believes in him will have eternal life, and I myself will raise him up on the last day. Okay, so there's that tuck in the back. That could actually be for a bigger one. Let's see if I have a bigger one. Okay, this is John 6, verses 51, 54, and 58. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread also which I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. This is the bread which came down out of heaven, not as the fathers ate and died. He who eats this bread will live forever. When he said this originally, people thought he was talking about them eating his actual, you know, body, physical body. What he meant was um, to take part of him. To be part of his life. Okay, so there is a another tuck there, and these may not be the best suited to go with each other, but let's go with it for now. And then there's another tuck spot back in here. John 10 verse 28. I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. Hmm. That sounds familiar. 
but that's okay. It's still reassuring. Didn't realize I did some of them twice. Okay, so did I glue? I think some of the glue maybe went through the, the doily. Yeah, because technically there's supposed to be another tuck spot here. Well, there kind of is. Unless... Okay, so you got one behind and then one behind the doily and then there's supposed to be if you don't glue it shut there's an oh there we go there's another one behind the first oh I see what I did I stuck it in the wrong spot there's supposed to be another spot inside the doily if you don't glue it shut but I seem to have done that so I'll stick those two together. All right, so we got three verses in there. And what else? I was thinking maybe we could use one of these as a pocket. But then we wouldn't be able to... Read the back. So that's probably a no go. I coffee dyed some coffee filters the other day and then I drew on them. This could be a pocket. I'm going to do that. And then if we do this the right way, and I'm running out of glue here, need another stick. I'll put that over here on this side. that down and then maybe we can put a couple in here Psalm 23 verse 6 surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever okay so that's one and then we could probably put one in the back of that skinnier that will work first John 2 verse 17 the world is passing away and also its lusts but the one who does the will of God lives forever I had a card that didn't print out very well, so I just added a sticker. Gotta watch it doesn't hook onto everything there. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab another glue stick. I did find some more ribbon. It's green. Maybe I'll see if I can do something with that. That green was a gift from my husband who saw it and thought I would like it. Unfortunately, it's not my favorite shade of green. <laughs> but hey, 
It's green. It's ribbon. I'm going to use it because I think it encourages him to keep getting stuff for me if I actually use what he gets me. So... <laughs> You got to take encouragement where you can get it, right? Um, he's a dear, sweet man. I, I don't know a lot of husbands that when they go shopping around like Walmart and stuff, where they actually look and see, is there anything my wife would like? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty enamored with my man after all these years. And uh, still glad I picked him. Okay, so I'm just making one of those um, simple bows, I think. I think they're supposed to be simple. The one where you make the bunny ears, you know. And then you can kind of flatten it. Brown and green go together nicely. I actually don't see anything wrong with that. Just want it tighter. There, something like that. That's kind of cute if it sticks out the side, right? Do I want anything back there yet? Um, let's see. Oh, where did that other ribbon go? I just had it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, and if you were wondering, yes, this is another one that my husband got me. <laughs> um, I was thinking it actually might work really good with the with the with the green because there's some shiny stuff in here, and it will just. It kind of looks like green. What I was thinking was like something like that. So I'm going to just start there and then make a pile. I hope you are doing well. I haven't heard any, anybody is actually making a topical journal with me. Um, if you are and you find this um, encouraging or interesting. Ow! And this is a low temp gun. That kind of surprised me that it was that hot. Yeah, I think I burnt myself. They tell you not to do that, but some of us don't listen very well. <laughs> Anyways, if you're enjoying this content and you would like to see more topical journals, please leave me a comment below because I mean, I can make videos all day long, but if nobody's interested in them, why would I continue? Okay, so that's a little bit... It's different. I don't know if I've seen a lot of those around. Just gonna taper those off. too bad right with the colors I mean so okay there's that and then what else can we do today I need
need another pocket because I have another something that I want to put in there. Um, I know. This is called using what's on your desk. This is book page and it's one of those collar pockets. Oh look, it's got a leaf. Not a leaf, a bow. Which is similar to this one. And so... That would work somewhere. How about in front of this music page? And we could put a few things in there. Alright, so I'm just going to use this. My finger still hurts from when I burnt it on the hot glue gun. Jesus is my healer. He'll take care of it. Okay, so that's that. And then we can stick some verses in there, but first I was thinking Julie from Camellia Designs. She made some tag bases the other day and I wanted to try that as well. I did it a little bit differently, not a whole lot. Um, so I made some tag bases the way she did. And that was to take some book page and fold it so it's thicker. And I do believe there's like six ply in here. I gently glued them together with glue stick and then I sewed around the edges. After a while, I accumulated some loose thread and I decided to sew it down on the edge here and I just thought that was so pretty. So then I made a few more like that. Then what she did was she had some fussy cut flowers and she made some really pretty tags and she had some lovely stamps that she used. I don't have stamps like that, but I've got other things like labels I could use. I was thinking I might need to edge this ink the edge. I don't fussy cut a lot, so I wasn't going for perfection because I think that would just just discourage me from keeping going but I did want some like flowers and such so I thought I could ink it up around the edges so it wouldn't be too obvious so I want to put that there and then I'm just going to put that to the side for a bit. So the flower and then bring up some of the tags I've made. Has to be a bit of a short one. A lot of my tags are pretty big. I could trim that one down if I needed. That would work. Oh, I like this one. Made new. We'll do that. I think I'm going to use that one on the back because she decorated hers on both sides. And two, I think I'm going to add something to the top. Hole punch. That's the word I was looking for.
I think I'm going to do two because I'm thinking I might. Oops. Well, there's that. You should kind of try to make them straight, I guess. All right, so I'm going to ink this on the side, on the edge, front and back. I think these tags are such a great idea because I had seen, or I'd heard people make them, but I hadn't seen anybody actually do them, so I wasn't sure how thick they make them. Because, and too, at the time I didn't have a sewing machine, so you could glue them, but it would take more glue, and I think that's one of the things I like about um, sewing, is that it saves money on glue, because I don't know if you've noticed, but really good glue can be quite expensive, especially if you're using it for everything. I mean, if you don't have a sewing machine, there's that investment, but um, I guess you just have to decide what it is you actually want to do and then go from there. For myself, I'm not regretting my sewing machine choice, although I will say I had initial problems with it because they neglected, in my opinion, they neglected to show us exactly how to insert a needle. And so I was doing it wrong and so I was bending a lot of needles unnecessarily. And if it wasn't for my husband, who what did he do? Well, it wasn't so much what he did, but it's what he already knew beforehand. He knows things about machinery uh, from working on cars and, you know, doing handyman kind of stuff. He, kn he knew how to insert a needle. And so, not because of the needle, but because of the, the part that screws on to the needle so he knew that the flat side had to be facing a certain way and so since he showed me that um, everything's great I have had zero problems and so I thought I could have saved myself a whole bunch of trouble because when I originally changed the needle I changed it according to how it looked like they had put it in there and now it turns out by the way he looked at it he says no they, they put it in wrong initially they <laughs> like oh great so oops okay i was trying to avoid opening this whole thing but i just ripped it so i may as well just go ahead and Don't want to rip the ribbon, which is stuck on there. That's one of the things from the thrift store, so you kind of have to find your way in. All right, I'll have to rewrap that later. Okay, so I don't really want the rip part right now because I need a longer piece. I don't do sorry silk. I just, I don't know, it somehow doesn't agree with me. So what I was thinking was, I'll take a really long piece. I was thinking of doubling this up and then putting this in here. So, and then I thought we could make another bow 
I don't know what it is with me and bows today. We do the bunny ear one again. Um, it's kind of droopy. I don't really like that. I'll do it the shoelace way. a bit smaller. I was kind of hoping to cover up that hole a little bit. So if it hangs down some. I know. This is still on. It's still hot, I mean, what I could do is just Okay, I'm gonna come back to that because it's not flowing yet. Um, I was gonna do the back and for the back I want to take one of these stickers. And then, if I flip it over this way, I might want to read it this way. Maybe. Oops, slipped. So then you have to decide what you're going to line it up with because sometimes the sewing is not perfect. I was going to use this as a stamp underneath it, but um, I do think it, it needs a border of its own. Or not. I'm just going to leave it. Anyways, this is ready now, so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue underneath there. And then I'm going to take the ribbon and just kind of attach it to little something like that. There, that kind of hides the ugly hole. So there's, I don't know, I think it's kind of pretty. When all tags come together, that looks not bad, right? Okay, so back here, we can put this in the back and have the ribbon sticking out. I do like things sticking out. And then it's kind of got a verse on the back of it. Well, it does, it has taste and see that the Lord is good. So there's one verse. And then we can put something in the front part. about this one Colossians 1 verses 19 and 20 for it was the father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him and through him to reconcile all things to himself having made peace through the blood of his cross through him I say whether things on earth or things in heaven 
So he made peace with God for us on our behalf. I'll be back with a new video soon. So we'll see you again next time. Thanks for popping in and have a great blessed day.